Yes, she is wearing the mini stiletto, but I did cut them down and we modified the shape. Because our mini sculpted almond is a lot shorter, and they didn't want to do something too, too short. Because that's boring. Uh, we removed it with the... Goldilocks bit. But I didn't film it because it really takes up so much time on camera, and it's kind of boring because you can't really hear because I have the dust collector going on in the background, and it just makes for a really boring part of the video, and I feel like it drags it out. That's why I didn't shoot it. Push back the cuticle. Hi from South Carolina. Push back that cuticle. <laughs> what was that? He's shaking the table like he's shaking the camera. I'm shaking the table. Shake and bake. So we're going to use the Russian manicure drill bit set to prep her nails today. You guys, we have three spaces left for the Orlando class as well, too. I'm so excited about that. I really want to thank everybody for coming out and visiting us in Orlando. Lena will be there, too, if you guys want to meet Lena, who hates being on camera. <laughs> you can meet her in person. Hi from New York. Hi from New York. Hi from North Carolina. So I'm going in with absolutely no pressure, removing any crusty molesties, lifting up all that dry non-living tissue. So that way I have as much nail estate as possible for the application of the nail bed. And Lena's excited because she's never been on a plane. I have not. <laughs> so now we're going to use the flame bit, also from the Russian Manicure Girl bit set. Tiffany says, hi, Matt. Welcome to Chicago. Hi, Stephanie. Shout out to Chi-Town. <laughs> can't read, read French. Think... No? <laughs> West Virginia. Hi from West Virginia. Thanks for joining us today. And you should really go in and clean out all that custom dust. Make sure we get the angle for you guys too. So are you making a mini natural coffin? No. I will be making a actual uh, mini coffin. It's going to be a short sculpted coffin, which will be slightly longer than the coffin that we have now, which is really, really short. Like it's like the coffin nail, the mini sculpture coffin is about the size of my thumb actually. So it's going to be a little bit longer and it's going to have more of a C curve. Uh, Antonio translated to us. She's from Quebec. She adores you. Ah, merci. Bonsoir, Quebec. Bonsoir, les Provence de la France Canada. Hi, but those will probably be dropping um, spring 2021, the mini, the short sculpture series. Because right now I am working on a 5XL nail, a 5XL square and a 5XL stiletto. Hi from Australia. Hi from Australia. Good day, mate. Hi from New York, NYC. And hello from Tucson, best place in December. <laughs> Crazy place in December. We have bipolar weather. Yesterday it rained and today it was nice and sunny. So we're going to use the diamond moon bit to go in and remove the shine. You, can you read it? Amo tus trabajos. Siempre los veo y los comparto. Gracias, amor. She said, I love your work and I always share your videos. You guys, if we reach 150 views today, we're going to make Lena pick a winner, winner chicken dinner to win a prize today. Of the game. Thank you, Mama. I appreciate that. But we do have the long sculpted coffin coming out, part of the long sculpture series. We already have the long sculpture square and the long sculpture stiletto out available. And the long sculpture coffin actually is the first full coverage gel nail that has a curve to it. So the nail actually curves down slightly. Not like a super 90s dragon lady curve, but it has a curve for the girls with the natural nails that have an arch. And it's very, very lit. I mean, this shape is so dope. And I will actually be showing it to the girls that are going to be in the Orlando class. They will be the first to see it. Have you seen the mini sculpted, uh, the long sculpture coffin? No. No? But you saw the long, the 5XL square? Mm -hmm. Nina's like, that's a really long nail. It is. It's 50 centimeters? 
54 centimeters long. <laughs> it's very, very. It's, I love that length. It is Atlanta Magic City Strippers. It is Experiment Rhino in Vegas. It is Castro Street in San Francisco at 4 o'clock in the morning. Kind of nail. I love it. Let's move the dust. Push my back cuticle one more time. Chris Perez says, Max, can you explain why a full acrylic tip is not possible, please? Why? Yeah. Because acrylic, you can't pour it into a mold and then let it dry. You have these when you, when we manufacture these nails. There's two molds. There's the inner mold and the outer mold. And the gel is poured into the mold, and then it is cured. If you do that with acrylic, acrylic turns brittle over time. It's not flexible. It's hard, so you can't make a full coverage nail out of acrylic. Like people... Yeah, because it's a hard material. Acrylic is hard. One, two, three, go nails. Any full coverage gel nail is a soft material. They are flexible. Acrylic is not acrylic, is a harder material. It does have flexibility, but not like a gel to be able to pour it in and then dry. And then a lot of the cheaper nails that people use are made out of ABS plastic, which is another option. That's like what press-on nails are made out of. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to do one coat of primer. Hi from St. Paul, Minnesota. Hi from St. Paul, Minnesota. Now that must be cold too. Mm -hmm. uh, can you add what acrylic under the one, two, three, four? Now? Yes, you can. That's called a hybrid technique. So we're going to take mini sculpted stiletto, and I already know Lena's sizes because I just did it on the other hand. Whoops. So her sizes are 9, 5, 4, 5, 1. It's like a phone number, doesn't it? <laughs> Man, Vaporwave is strange. But they don't like my videos. <laughs> I love your products, Hans. Thank you, Mama. So now we're going to take, of course, Miss Flashy. We're going to do our express technique. Instagram? Hi, Orlando. Are you going to join us at our class in Orlando, your city? The city of your namesake, buddy? It's going to be a fun two days, and then Disney World is there, Universal Studios. Candace says, love your short nail tips from Cold Lake, Alberta. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I think for spring 2021, um, the two short sculpted shapes are short sculpted coffin and then a short sculpted almond. Because we already have sculpted square. Saludo Colorado. How's your papa Max? He's, love and hugs. Thank you. He's doing okay. The recovery from a stroke is never an easy one. It's never a fast one. But he's doing okay. He is sleeping a lot, which he shouldn't. But I said, if it's your funeral, Dad, he doesn't want to listen to me. He needs to get up and move around and try to be more active. And he doesn't want to. He just wants to sleep all day. His mom was the same way too, I remember my grandma Cello. Yeah. Her name was Buenaventure. <laughs> it's German. Maybe there's German descent in my dad. Well, he's of Middle Eastern descent. But maybe there's some German in there because his middle name is German as well too. And Telmo is Deutsch. <laughs> and his mom's name was Buenaventure. Maybe I should get this in 2023 20, me. <laughs> My great grandmother on my mom's side, my grandmother Kuka, my nana Kuka, we used to call her. Mm -hmm. She looked like a Korean ajuma. Really? Like when I go to the markets in Korea and you see those little old ladies that are like super hunched over with perms, I was like, it looks just like her. <laughs> I even took pictures. I was like, look, mom, your grandmother. <laughs> 
That's what she looked like. Yeah. And with a lot of makeup too, because those old ladies like to dress up a lot. Yes, and they're perms. They're short little hair. That's why I'm permed. My grandma had a perm, and I was like, I don't like that on you. Typical Korean asthma. <laughs> Ohio. She's speaking something in German. La lamparita está en la página de internet, todos los productos están ahí. She says, where can I buy the little flashy lamp? I was like, everything is on the website. Thank you. If they don't fit your nails, also check out the um, Sport and the Active Almond, which are wider. Lena, no, Lena is Vietnamese. Sue says ancestry DNA was wild for me. Found out I was Irish and more. Thought I was a hundred percent Italian. Nope. Irish. <laughs> there was Italians in Ireland, and they used to call them Black Irish or Spanish. I think it was. But it doesn't tell you specifically, does it? They give you percentages on what, what you are. But like who was it or like from where and things like that. Like mm -hmm. my great grandmother from was from here. Well, and just ancestry like links it with people who have done like their tests. Mm -hmm. And they link like you might find like a brother or a sister that you don't know of. Or wow. Like a, or a cousin. Do you remember when the tsunami hit Japan a few years ago? Mm -hmm. And the really bad one, right? Yeah. What was it, in Okinawa? No, Hiroshima? I don't remember clearly. It was, what, like 10 years ago maybe or so? Yeah, about. Yeah, so my friend is a nail tech in California and she does Mariah Carey's nails. And Mariah Carey tweeted that her brother was missing. And from Mariah Carey's tweet, they found her missing brother. The power of Mariah Carey. Well, of course, because Mariah Carey must have millions of followers too. Yeah. Okay, let's bake this for one minute. Wow. History in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. My cousins are. Really? French? Who else was in Vietnam? American people? Mm -hmm. Because um, the war in the mm -hmm. 70s. But you can tell when they're mixed, though. Mm -hmm. You can. Because my cousins are like white skin, blue eyes. And John Ho's. You know who John Ho is, right? Our distributor in, in uh, the DC area. Mm -hmm. His wife is um, from the Vietnam War. Yeah, she was born, well, her dad was an army guy that went oh. there. <laughs> Had a baby. My grandpa was born. But she said but they, were, they were uh, looked down upon a lot of them. Mm. So I'm cutting them down just a hair. So that way I can shape it a little bit more already. Because Lena cannot have super long flannies. I'm going skiing. And she's going skiing for the first time and I was like, get ready to fall. <laughs> Preparing myself. Bonnie says, Max, I miss why you're adding gel to the top half before applying to the nail. That is called our express technique. Stick your elbow out. Stick your elbow out like this. Mm -hmm. It'll be more comfortable for you. There you go. Is that more comfortable? Yeah. Does it feel less awkward? I just poof. <laughs> it's an egg frame. Love me a good 
sharp almond shape. And you can see that the nails are so easy to file and the dust it produces is super heavy so you don't have to worry about a cloud of dust working in your area. It's just so easy. Like a knife through hot butter. I hope I don't break the nail skin. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Well, you have to wear gloves though. I know, but you can break a nail under the gloves. That's true. <laughs> And take it easy, Lena. Oh, well, that's why I asked for them short. <laughs> well, these are short for Max. Yeah. What are you going to do with your ski equipment after? Return it. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. It's oh, it's just rented. Yeah. I'm not the dearest little to. I don't need to. I have a little Like close to like oh, we're so close to having a giveaway too. We're at 110. If we reach 150, we're gonna do a giveaway. Share, share, share. Meow. Oh, have you how long is the square uh, I'm not sure. Actually, we don't uh, disclose the sizes of the nails, though. I'm not sure. Um, Tiffany Baker says hello. It's been a while. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Mary, so if I wouldn't ski, I'd break a nail, arm, and butt. Oh. I've never done winter sports, actually. Living here, you don't really do them that often. But I heard hockey from all my fellow Canucks, my fellow Canadians, is a very expensive sport. <laughs> so now we're going to blend in the cuticle using the golden wand bit. And yes, guys, I was filmed by a stranger my first time down on skiing. Fell halfway down the hill and had to walk back up halfway. Was it a funny video? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. I just feel too scared to ski. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I've never even gone to an ice skating rink. I did when I was small. Was it scary? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So that's hard ice. I don't want to break a nose. Knowing my luck. Well, like when I was small, they had like a little thing that you can grab on. No. Do they have those for adults? <laughs> They used to have one here in Tucson, but they closed it. A long ago or uh, recently? Long ago. Do they still have skate country? Yeah, they do. Is it opened? I think so, actually. Last night when I was driving home from my massage, I noticed that the Taekwondo studio was open and I was like, oh look, they still have Taekwondo during COVID. But that must be uncomfortable to do Taekwondo with a face mask on. I know that when my son was in karate, they, they did like online. I don't know if they figured Zoom. For karate, I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay, like, this much just for a Zoom. No, karate or any kind of martial art, you need to be in person to learn the real discipline. Yeah. Unless you're, like, really super disciplined and you can do it online, but... Alright, we're gonna remove the shine off the entire flu engine. We're using, of course, the smoothie buffer, world famous. <laughs> and Tony says, I bowl, that's the good stream as I get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen that sport? I think it's called curling. Mm -hmm. That they makes them. Like that is intense. Not brooms, are they? They, they look, look like, like brooms. Things, yeah. But I think like the countries that do really well in curling are Canada and the U.S. But I think um, they train their Olympians really well for winter sports in those two countries. And of course, uh, what's another country that has really good winter sport athletes? Russia, of course. Mm -hmm. um, 
for skating, I think Japan has, does really well too, don't they? I think so. I'm so used to those watching her. <gasps> what was a really famous? Michelle Kwan. Mm -hmm. I love watching her. I remember she did like a Mulan commercial a long time ago or a special. Mm -hmm. What is she, Chinese? I think so. Or Korean? I'm not sure, I don't remember. And Christy Yamaguchi. She's Japanese. I used to be really famous a long time ago for skiing. I remember that. <laughs> Ice brooms that they type of bowling. Mm, so it's, it's, it's a large ceramic ball that they release onto the ice. It's similar, it's quite similar to the shuffleboard. Have you played shuffleboard? No, have you? No, but when I worked at the retirement community, they had it. Really? Yeah. It's a sport for the older crowd. Yeah. For the seasoned. <laughs> so let's remove the dust. Beautiful. And then to get a really beautiful, smooth, flawless surface, we're going to do a coat of base gel over the entire phalange. So, next, how do you feel about? decorating the nails before application? Um, if you decorate over 70% of the nail, the light will not penetrate the nail and you will not get proper curing. So you're going to have issues. And then I feel that makes it a little bit more of a press-on kind of service versus an actual salon service when you actually decorate the nail on hand. But in all fairness, when you pre-decorate the nail, it could be easier sometimes too because if you guys watch those videos of people doing one nail, they turn the nail upside down to the side round and round, and you can't do that when the nail's already applied, so. So the base gel will give it just a really beautiful, smooth, flawless surface. My homegirl Bib from Pampered Gallery does this a lot too. She always does base gel on top of her one, two, three gonads just to really get a 100% perfect surface. Let's bake this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to use Space Galaxy Kitty number 27, our double ended magnet. We actually have a new bit coming out next year for the one two three go system. It's called the mixer bit. Chrissy says, what does a nail bed look like after you remove the one two three go nails? Like nothing. If you remove it well, it will just be like nothing. Patty says, hi from Boston, love everything you put out. Says, why does a nail polish wrinkle when it comes out of your light? You applied it too thick. And you probably have oil or some kind of residue on the nail bed. And then Danielle says, can you use shiny instead? Nope. Shiny is a top coat, not a base. And then, I guess, does the face gel go on top of the nail or under? On top. You can rewatch the video too. So now let's activate this. Space Galaxy Kitty Color. Let's make it 10 seconds. How is it for you to the nail strong if you don't put nothing on? Because the nail's already pre made and it's made perfect. If you want to add more strength to it, you're more than welcome to add a coat of uh, press-on gel on the inside of the nail, followed by either shiny or wonder gel. But when you apply the nails properly, they're super strong. They last a really long time. Lena had hers on for three weeks. Mm -hmm. The last that I had for like that? five weeks. Yeah. It keeps going. Uh, the color is Space Galaxy 30. 27. which is light silver. Look how cool it is. Oh. I 
little ice rink um, downtown. They built it like last year. They have like this ice rink. But they don't have one this year? They probably won't with COVID either. So now we're gonna take, of course, Maxi Magic Film Glue. Apply a nice coat over the entire phalange. So for the butterfly foils, we found on Instagram that it works best if you cure it for 30 seconds. Victor's my brother. He's leaving now. He'll have to come back for me. That man needs to learn patience. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mama. That's awesome, that makes me happy to hear. So now we're gonna take from the Papillon collection. There's two new butterfly sets, you guys. This is Papillon, and this is called Wings. Irene says, I love that you get to work with your family. Oh, <laughs> trust me, it's not all that great. There he is again. Oh, that transfers over so beautifully. So rub that butterfly really well so that way we, she transfers over nice and evenly. I love it. So beautiful. No, you have to order from Innovator Canada. Official distributor. And then we're going to do one more coat of Maxi Magic Foam Glue so we can layer the butterfly. Layer the name of the glue so Maxi Magic Foam Glue. Correct. Oh. Okay, go ahead and bake it, Mina. Daniel says, I tell everyone about your 1, 2, 3, go gel now. I don't know what I would do without them. And then Samantha says, have your nails on now, love them. The only thing I use in my salon. Hashtag game changer. And Neil Clark says, hey Matt, great job with foils. Love working with foils, you guys. It's so much easier than the stickers too, or stamping. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people love stamping, but man, it's too messy for me. Too many steps. I can't get the hang of that. Mm -mm. I used to just do my nails as like a hobby. Mm-hmm. Can I get my little scissors? Tell your brother to leave you alone. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Lucinda says, why did we put another coat of glue to layer the butterfly? Mm -hmm.
Now we're gonna add a little bit of glitter. <laughs> so we're gonna use Precious Minerals 169. I'm close to having all your foil sets. <laughs> you gotta get the four new ones. And I'm gonna take my Sailor Magic liner brush. I'm gonna move the glitters a little bit out of the way so that way they're not directly on top of the butterflies too much. Zoom tight. Antonia says that your ringtone scared her enough that she drew, drew the drill across her phone. Oh my gosh. Ouch. <laughs> I hope she feels well enough to come out to Orlando and say hello, at least. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Because mm -hmm. she's getting surgery, but she says she can't drive. Okay, let's make it. That's why Uber. <laughs> but she doesn't live in Orlando. I can't remember what part of Florida she lives in. Try curing the foil gel. How long are you curing it for? 10 seconds or 30 seconds? We're going to do two coats of shiny gel as well, too. My first coat is going to be super thin. Hopefully it's a speedy recovery. Start taking turmeric. Turmeric like crazy, like nobody's business. That is my secret to a fast recovery. They're gonna open you up and it's gonna smell like curry, but it really works. Okay, 30 seconds. For bruises, for anything, turmeric, you guys, is a must. I start taking it before surgery and then immediately right after, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like right after surgery, I take like four turmeric pills. It helps with swelling and with breathing. Yeah, but number three, I Maxi Magic Film Glue. Antonio says I can't take too much more drugs. <laughs> Two works natural. Tarsha says I take it every day with a dropper with black pepper. Oh, I take it in pills. I don't know. What does it taste like? <laughs> Turmeric looks kind of like ginger. Yeah, or curry. It's very orangey. Oh, the peel-off base coat. Wow, that's really unfortunate to be un um, allergic to acetone and in so many products. So that means you can't wear acrylic then. Because acrylic does have just a little bit of acetone in it. But the peel-off base coat will probably be ready um, maybe February. One minute now. No, 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 no. My dad is though. He has to get checked every week until they find the perfect blood thinner for him. Like the perfect level. Mm -hmm. So that way it dissolves the clot and everything. Right. So he doesn't get another one. Yeah, my neighbor died. What? Yeah, yesterday or a few days ago. My mom was like, oh, you know, how's your dad doing? Because he was around in, and he was in the hospital at the same time as my dad too. And then his daughter said, oh, my dad passed away on fourth. But he didn't die of COVID or anything like that. He died of other issues.
No, that comes out next year. And will it stay on? It's not designed to stay on that long. As, even if you can see in the, the videos when it comes off flying, if you hit it right away. <laughs> yeah, like if you're buffing too hard and then it'll take off the peel off. So maybe if you like do one coat, it would probably stay on maybe a day or two, but it's not designed to stay on. It's designed to come off really quickly. But look how cute they look. There. And now let's put a little bit of cuticle oil on. They're so cute. They almost look like stickers too, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's because we put two coats of shiny too, so it really creates depth on the nail. Well, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo. Don't forget to visit Eno.